In this episode, we talk about the interview that I just did with Matt Tran from Engineered Truth, TEDx, what's going on with me and my engineering career, and the Vlogmas Challenge with STEM Media. All that, coming up. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, guys, make sure you subscribe, because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. If you want the 1% Engineer Kit, which is five eBooks, follow the link below. It will also get you access to the Facebook group. And if you have a question about anything in your engineering journey, leave a comment. This episode is going to be a vlog format. There's gonna be some lessons within it, but it's really an update about some of the wins that we've achieved lately, 1% Nation talking about you guys too. I appreciate all of you so much for being a part of this, for watching videos, for leaving comments, for being in the Facebook group. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is all about community, 1% Nation. I could never do any of this without you. So let's just jump right into the updates I have for. I was just interviewed by Matt Tran, who runs the Engineered Truth YouTube channel. It's the biggest career platform on YouTube, and it also is about engineering, because he studied mechanical engineering in undergrad. Definitely admired Matt for a while. I've been following his channel. I actually write for his blog, and I've tried to connect him with some people to interview. So I've just tried to add as much value to his community as possible. That's really the biggest takeaway for you, 1% Nation, is that the only reason that I've achieved this is because I've just been helping him and giving and helping him, and I never asked for anything. He posted a list of people that he wants to interview, and Civil Engineer was on there, and he already knows who I am. He was like, yeah, let's do it. And he also offers a $100 referral fee, and I was like, I don't even want that, man. I wanna build a relationship with Matt. I wanna have a YouTube connection with him, a community connection, because we're doing similar stuff and I can learn a lot from him and I just hope I can help him along the way so this is a huge win for me today can't wait till that interview comes out I recorded it as well so it will be up on this channel after it's out on his also tomorrow right now recording this it is December 4th but tomorrow we're having a private TEDx Wilmington event with Brown Advisory as a host it's an investment company here in Delaware that manages 60 billion with a B billion dollars in assets and there's three awesome speakers only 100 people are invited it's all their clients so it will probably be the most fancy event I have ever been to and I'm a little intimidated but very excited to interview these three speakers super duper excited for that so that's a big win and the reason why this is in here here's a takeaway for you is that there's a TEDx near each and every one of you there's a TEDx in your city in your area and powerful people, influential people who can change your life, change your career, are TEDx speakers. So you should find a way to volunteer, you should find a way to get involved and try to be a part of the TEDx around you because it is a big deal. It can definitely be life-changing. I've been invited to tour Europe. I've had opportunities to bring in TEDx speakers for my company for certain things. So the more you give to organizations like that, the more you're gonna get back in return. So again, notice the trend guys, add value, give first, and then usually you're gonna win big in the end. So go out and support TEDx and if you don't have the time to volunteer or if you just can't do it for whatever reason then you should try to go to whatever TEDx events exist in your area because again community the people who go to these are just game changers so you want to meet these people you want to be a part of it and if you can't even do that watch TEDx talks it's okay so third thing I want to talk about something that's going on with me and my career right now I hit the seven month mark here December 1st and we had evaluations a week or two ago and I basically kind of opened up about the fact that I don't think my engineering career has a future being a project manager for this company or really in that regard being a project manager at all. I really want to be in this fusion of marketing and promoting the innovation that we're doing as a company which aligns with this video stuff and community building and getting out there and creating relationships with media and and going to conferences and interviewing people and maybe even interviewing our own staff to promote our stories and getting our messages out there and getting our technical skills out there and doing business development type stuff. So that's really what I wanna be doing for my career as I'm figuring out this road just like you guys. So I've built pretty good relationships with the chief innovation officer and the marketing director at our company. And again, how do I do that? Well, I added value to them. I offered to do stuff. I've been writing stories about engineers in our office. I've been a part of different committees like our website committee and our visual effects group. So again, a similar theme. Here's three in a row. Add value, give, 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 and then maybe you will have an opportunity to have an ask or something will change your world. There will be some sort of situation where it can change your life. So I don't know what's going to happen. 
happened for me in 2018. I was kind of waiting to do this at the one year mark, but it's kind of out in the open now. Um, so we'll see, we'll see you guys. Um, and another takeaway here is you have to advocate for yourself. No one else knows what you're thinking and what you want for a career direction. So you have to speak up. You have to tell people what you want, even if it's early. Honestly, only seven months at a company is a little bit early to be making requests and trying to do lateral moves or career type moves. Cause technically I'm deviating from the position I was hired for. That's my, that's what I want. Right. And, and it feels good for it to be out in the open, but it is a little bit of a sensitive situation because it's just, it's just strange. You know, I was, I was hired to do this thing, this commitment, this role, and now I'm announcing that I don't really want to do that. So we'll see you guys. Um, this is part of the reason why I'm building this community because I know what it's like to not really be sure that you're in the right place and, and to, and, and just to, to, to feel a certain way, but you want to follow your heart and follow your, your, your dreams and, and things like that. But you don't really know the best way to have these conversations with your boss. That's been a, definitely a struggle for me is uh, bringing this up and knowing what to do. Um, so it just kind of came out during this evaluation. So what I'm getting at is that I can empathize with you guys. You know, I, I definitely understand what it's like and I'm going through this too. I know it, it seems like because I'm making these videos and building this community that I have it all figured out. It's not the case. The reason why I am so connected to these topics that I'm trying to teach is because just recently I've had to figure all this out myself, right? And I know what it's like to, to be confused and to, to not really be sure if you're making the right calls and things like that. So uh, that's really the genesis of this community is I'm going through the same stuff as you. I'm just very tuned into knowing that if I'm in the right direction or not. And the one thing that I do feel very good about is that I'm not afraid. I'm willing to risk it to follow my dreams. And I really hope that all of you guys do this as well with your career. If you want a certain thing or if your destiny is doing a different type of work within your core engineering area or whatever, you should be willing to risk it too. Life is too short to not be enjoying what you're doing and not feel like you're in the right fit or part of the right team or part of the right company. Or it can be as simple as a geographic thing. I moved from Vancouver after four years. I wanted to be back with my family. So as we come down to the end of the year, just make sure guys that you reflect on 2017 and make sure that you're going the direction that you wanna go. Make sure you're going to the place that you're trying to get to in your life and your career because the worst thing you can have is regret, okay? You definitely don't wanna have regrets. Again, life is too short, we only get one life. So uh, final final thing, thing number four is just a big shout out to STEM Media. If you don't know about the STEM Media tribe, it's stemmedia.org led by Nehemiah Mabry. He was on the 1% Engineer Show. Um, talking all about how he found his structural engineering path and what led him to get his PhD and go to NC State and advice and best book and all my favorite interview questions. So check out that interview. I'm sure I'll link it up. And if you guys have any questions for me, if you have any video requests for December, I'm trying to release a lot more videos as we close out the year here. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment get you in the Facebook group. Follow the links if you want the 1% Engineer Kit. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this slightly different episode, guys. This is a vlog format. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, so uh, let me know. Let me know if you're feeling this. Maybe I'll do some more of these. And as always, thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this. I hit 3,000 subscribers lately. It feels so good. And we're just going to keep right on going. So shout out to you, 1% Nation. And as always, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys. And stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers. Cheers.